Apple and IBM's partnership goes way back. Together they've already capitalised on Apple's consumer technology know-how and IBM's expertise in enterprise technology. They've co-created various mobile features together aimed for improving the enterprise. So this latest news is really just an enhancement to their existing collaboration. So combining the two opens up huge opportunities for app development. It allows us to use machine learning features directly in an iOS app. And that includes text and speech recognition, as well as visual recognition and even sentiment analysis. So artificial intelligence as a whole presents us with the opportunity to create really intelligent journeys and experience for our users. And the use of artificial intelligence in applications enables us to deliver that right time experience that offers the right information at the point of need. But for businesses who have either already looked into using the technology or might like to use the technology, the biggest challenge comes in understanding where and how to build the artificial intelligence models themselves, particularly when it comes to improving a specific business process, which is where IBM services have become invaluable. For example, IBM's Watson has already been trained with specific industry data, for example within healthcare or the financial services. And this means that businesses don't have to create their own models anymore. They can use what IBM's Watson offers. And whilst there's still no quick fix for implementing AI, the new IBM and Apple Core ML integration makes it a lot easier. So the integration of Watson means that we're now going to get the power of Watson inside Core ML. So Watson stands out as a uh, image identification service purely due to its power, the algorithms that IBM have developed over time. They're really, really impressive. And so now, rather than having to use the internet to request um, that Watson identifies an image, we're going to be able to do it locally on a device. So that means that we're going to be able to not use any data, because of course sending an image uses a lot of data, if on mobile data in a remote location, and also it's an awful lot faster. So the biggest impact we think this is going to have is one of the abilities that Apple and RBO have announced is the ability to have constant feedback and this is one of the things we've struggled with in the past. We can make a model and train an artificial intelligence on it but then any time any of that data changes we need to completely and utterly retrain and that can take days. Now all of a sudden we've got the ability to actually tell the neural net you were wrong in this case and you need to improve and we can continuously do that. Now the real power is going to come when we've got hundreds, potentially thousands of users doing this on an app-wide basis rather than one team doing it all at once, everyone's going to be doing it and the entire model is going to be upgraded over time and then that super model, if you like, is then going to be redistributed to everyone. As well as this, what we're also going to be able to do is harness the power of Watson offline and very, very speedily. We've had cases in the past where clients need this kind of power and feature and ability, but they're out in the field or they've got poor signal coverage, whatever, and it's just been a complete project um, halter and completely stopped. And now all of a sudden we're going to be able to do that, no problem at all. So app development is hopefully going to be more accurate in terms of the client's end goal because IBM's Watson is going to be able to more accurately identify these images versus some of the other libraries out there. And also because of the ability to improve it over time, that's a huge game changer for us. And especially for the ability to actually develop these models in the cloud and then distribute them to apps, that's going to be really powerful because we can have um, clients upload their own data without having to go through developers. So this is a huge step towards truly intelligent mobile apps and it's this combination of mobile and AI that allows us to create those right time experiences that deliver the right information to the right person at the right time, all using the best device for the task. In terms of using it within real businesses, so Coca-Cola are already trialling the technology. They're seeing how it helps field technicians better inspect vending machines on site. So they're using it to identify mechanical parts and offer next step advice. Similarly, this technology could be used in the built industry to check building regulations during construction or maybe for insurance providers to assess car damage at the scene of an accident. Overall, an application that utilises AI like these field examples really highlights how a company can improve both employee productivity and the customer experience at the same time.